So we're going to be using JMP a lot this semester. Uh, JMP is a statistical package that we're going to use to do a lot of hypothesis testing uh, and to make graphs because it has a fairly nice graph builder application in it that can make very professional looking graphs. So because we're going to be using this so much, we want to get into some good habits when using JMP. So we're going to talk today about how do we input data? How do we set the data type and the modeling type? So the data type refers to basically what goes into the cell. Are we putting in letters or numbers? And we can access this by just double clicking one of our cells and picking the data type. So if the data type is character, that means text. If it's numeric, that means number. Second, we want to set the modeling type for our data. So on the left here in these column rows, you can see these different icons next to each column. So Taxa has these red bars. These red bars mean that this is nominal data. Note that because this is character data, it can't be continuous. It can only be ordinal or nominal, which are both categorical data types. Count, which we see are these numbers, uh, how many species are counted there, is set to continuous. And we're going to treat this as continuous data. Now in this data set, there is actually uh, a mistake. So our sites, which are sites 1, 2, and 3, these are physical locations, are currently set to continuous. Now naturally, our sites are not continuous locations. You cannot go to site 1.2 or site 2.4. You can only go to one of the sites. So we're going to change this to a nominal data set. And nominal just means that it fits into these categories and that there's no specific sequence to them. So if there's nothing intrinsically different or specified about site 2 just because it comes after site 1. Likewise, date, our dates are set to continuous. We could leave our dates as continuous data because it would make sense if we had a scatter plot where the x-axis was dates. Uh, but we can also set our dates to ordinal, which means there is a sequence to them because we know that January or April 24th comes after April 8th. We can also access these settings over here in the column properties by double clicking. Uh, again, we can set ordinal, nominal, uh, or continuous. So that's all we want to take away from this video. I want to keep it nice and short. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.